Janelle, believe it or not, I'm actually kind of shy by nature. Negotiating used to really stress me out, but then I figured out a single sentence I can say to negotiate with 80% efficiency. This episode is dedicated to the introverts and shy founders out there on how you can simply negotiate better terms for yourself. Eric, didn't you recently tell me about this great book on negotiating that you read? Yeah, in fact, I just finished reading this great book called Never Split the Difference. It's by this writer named Chris Voss, who was a former FBI hostage negotiator. And there is this great sentence in the book that I want to read, which is called the 738 55% rule. And this is the explanation for it. Only 7% of a message is based on the words, while 38% comes from the tone of voice and 55% from the speaker's body language and face. So what do you think about that, Janelle? Okay, so what I'm getting out of this is that there's a ton of nonverbal communication that can go a long way toward helping you negotiate. Making a direct ask might be tough, but leveraging good tone and delivery can help. That's right. And let's talk about how to make that ask. Whether you're negotiating a super big deal or trying to buy a car or even buying a dishwasher, you can use one sentence that I've found works almost every single time. Okay, what's that? All right, here's the sentence. It's, is there anything you can do to help me out on that price? Oh, that's a nice way to frame the ask. But how does it connect to the 738.55 rule you just read? Well, there's a specific way that I like to deliver this ask. First is that I try to do this in person or over video so that they can see me smiling. Next, what I try to do is to deliver the ask confidently and with a friendly body language. So you can see Janelle, like I got a big smile right now in front of you, chest is wide, I'm using my hands to be kind of open. Generally, this is perceived to be a pretty friendly body language. So how does this specifically help the shy or introverted founder out there? It's a non-aggressive style of asking. You're not demanding a price, but the way that is there anything you can do to help me on the price is structured is that it passes some level of control to the person you're negotiating with, and it just feels really friendly. I wouldn't say that this is the most optimized way to get 100% efficiency out of the ask, but I can see how this can work for someone who is really shy. Yeah, and just to concede to you, Janelle, on that point, this isn't about getting the very best deal possible. It requires much more back and forth and some other skills for negotiating. But if you are shy, it's easy to get really good about making this ask and just getting 80% efficiency does add up. Let's say that you're talking to dozens of vendors whom you're paying for services to run your company. 80% efficiency could be thousands of dollars saved. Eric, a quick story. When I was a kid, I recall my dad using a similar line to, is there anything you can do to help me out on that price? In negotiating a utility bill and remembering that it was really effective. For founders who are a bit shy, maybe the place to begin practicing is with low stakes negotiation first. Call your internet provider and see whether you can get a better price. Or next time you're staying at a hotel, see whether you can get a room upgrade for free. These are great suggestions, Janelle. And I'm curious to hear in the comments whether other introverted founders have advice on how they frame and deliver their ask. So let us know in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe to Uncapped Notes.